Hello and welcome to Solution Cone. In this video, we will see how to fetch dynamic data and show it in a data table, which is a jQuery plugin. So I got many requests from our viewers to make this video. So this video is for you and for anyone who wants to learn how to fetch data dynamically and show it in a data table, you can watch it. So in this video, I'll just go step by step so that your doubts are clear so let's uh, move on I have made a folder in my HD docs which is data hyphen table so let's try to access it localhost data hyphen table so yes uh, this is our directory so let's create a new file which is index dot HTML oh, okay index.php and here I'll just write something dynamic Make content from my SQL table okay so here I'll just fetch the table data from the database so first of all we need uh, to create a database for our project so I'll just count okay country I have a data for country and this is the data for country I'll just do one thing I'll just paste this as an SQL and yes we have our database country with table countries so in this countries I have list of countries and I want this to be shown in the data table so first of all what we need to do is just let's uh, go to data table okay data table and here is a basic installation of data table plugin so if I do this I can get this okay so they have given how to initialize it and how to use it okay so first of all what we need to do is we need to create a table okay give the table an ID suppose uh, country and then we'll have our head section in which I'll have my serial numbers okay and I'll have um, what we say country code country code and then I'll have my country name so our D body section is currently empty as I don't have anything right now we'll need to fetch from DB okay so first of all let's try to initiate data table in it so for that what all basic things required is uh, data tables JS and CSS and also the jQuery we have to enable jQuery to our page so let's jQuery CDN let's include this to our page index.php where we wanna use the data table so here is a link so let's take this link and just in the head section or let's keep it here only then we'll require the CDN for data table which is here after that I can do one thing I can just write the scripts below 
src is equal to this okay and also I ha I need to add the CSS for it so CSS can be written here okay so I have added uh, the jQuery I have added CSS I have added the JS for it now I just a second what I did is okay now it looks better okay now here I want to fetch the data from the database but before doing that let's enable jQuery data table to this page so for that they have given the instructions here just you have to do these things and your data table would be enabled it's quite simple to add this okay so this is what I have shown in my previous videos also so you can see that the data table has been initiated in this page and you can see all the results which are there for example if I just go and add a TD three times okay and here I am writing uh, I n for India okay and just I'm trying to reload that you can see that okay and here if I search for England and you can see that there is no such records so this is a static way of initializing a table now I want to create these things dynamically so for that first of all we need to add connection to DB so first of all for connection I'm going to use dollar con equals to mysqli underscore connect okay and here I'm going to pass three variables sorry four variables so first of all we require the host so which is local host username my root password and database name is country which is just here if you have some doubt in it just go and watch my PHP basic tutorials and you would be good to go now let's check if dollar con okay just a second I'll just do here itself let's try to connect it or else die throwing error error in connection this is a quite simple way of connection okay there is no such error that means we have connected our database successfully now what I want to do is I want to fetch each and every row present in our database in the form of a row so for that I'm going to write a query which would state that mysql underscore query and for that query I'm going to pass a connection variable to perform the query here I can write select star from my table name which is countries okay select star from this so I'll get all the tables here listed okay you can also perform order by query order by ID or order by sort name or order by name order by name okay and then you can just uh, loop through it so for that I'll use while dollar result equals to my SQY underscore fetch underscore array array of 
queries and for each query I'll get I'll just do one thing I'll echo out a few things which were like TR I want to echo out TR tags and in which I will have three TDs so what I'll do is I'll have a TD I'll close a TD okay and I'll do this three times and I'll just try to reload my page you can see that the empty spaces are present here because I haven't done anything here so for example I'm just writing one 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 so this would be a table if you want we want to show hundred so it's like this okay what I have to do is now I have to fetch this dynamically I have already done this so for that what we'll do is dollar result off what is the name of that column I want country code so sort name s o r t n a m e sort name also we'll need this as name okay and now if you see that here all one and your country codes are fetched and here the country name are fetched but if you see this SR number it's all one so I want one two three four five six and so on so for that we are going to use a count variable which would start from one and here I'll just write that count and I'll just increment count plus plus that's it now if you see that this is also sorted so guys this is the way to fetch the data from the mysql tables into the data table plugin so i hope this video was helpful thank you for watching guys hope you like subscribe and comment below if you have any doubts thank you